Captain Victoria Gates, a.k.a. Iron Gates. It's by the book as they come. She cut her teeth as a detective with internal affairs. Wow. It's not going to win her any popularity points. Yeah. It's like she brought her distrust of cops along with her. Well, one thing's for sure, she's no Montgomery. What you did dishonors this city and dishonors the badge. Not only are you off this investigation, I'm putting you both on administrative leave effective immediately. You're covering for someone and I know who it is. But I don't intend to dig up the past and tarnish Roy Montgomery's reputation. The fact is, I, I admire your loyalty. I hope you feel that for me someday. I'm looking forward to seeing what you can do without him. Well, it helps to be surrounded by a good team. You mean Castle. You said it, not me. He's not a cop. Yeah, but that's what makes him so good. So, Mr. Castle, I decided to give Frozen Heat a read, and you know what? It's really a good book. You liked it? I loved it. I, uh, do you mind? No. I, I ordered the rest of the Nikki Heat series. <laughs> Mr. Castle. My office, now. And there it goes. Did you really think that I, of all people, would be okay with this? No, I... Talked... I... You are beauty, passion, and fierce intellect. Be my valentine, Rick. Is that all I wrote in there? Isn't that enough? What the hell is wrong with you? I'm a married woman. I, I know, I know, I know, I just thought... Is this some lame hair brain scheme to garner favor with me? Yeah, that's, that's what this is. Well, it backfired, and I am willing to forget that this ever happened if you assure me that you can tame your childish nonsense and accord me some respect. I, I will. I can't. I will. And now I will go home to my husband because I'm his valentine. You do whatever you need to do to get him back his little girl. Anything you need, Detective. Thank you, sir. Illegal search, breaking and entering. You're lucky I don't have your badge. And you, what in the hell do you think you were doing? Just... As Sir Castle is just... Embarrassing me and the department? Oh, and Mr. Castle, I will be so happy to take you into custody, personally. Perfect timing. You good? Yeah, did you see it? Glad to see you, Detective. Even you, Mr. Castle. I have to say, I don't know too many men who would have done what you did. Neither do I. Oh, for heaven's sake, Detective. Just kiss the man. Sir, you know? What? Do you think I'm an idiot? I needed to maintain plausible deniability, which I can continue. As long as you two both act professionally at the precinct. I know I can, but Captain, she has a long history of coming on to me at work. I don't think it'll be a problem, sir. Good. Meanwhile, as long as we're on neutral ground here, I'd say, uh, you deserve it. Wouldn't you? Yes, sir, I would. Detective Beckett, can I have a word? Yes. I'll catch you later. She's all yours. Sir? Shut the door. Have a seat. I, uh, just got a call about you from the deputy director of the FBI. Apparently, you had quite the interview in D.C. this morning. Look, sir, it was going to tell you that, uh... Um... 
I gave you my highest recommendation. You did. Kate, this is the kind of work you were meant to be doing. You'd be on the national stage utilizing all your talents. This is an incredible opportunity. I would have killed to have a shot at something like this when I was your age. Thank you, sir, but it was just an interview. I mean, it's a long shot at best. No, I wouldn't be so sure about that. From what I hear, you're on a short list. And with any luck, this could be your last case. Again, I'm sorry your reinstatement didn't work out. Yeah, thanks. Well, nice having you back. Oh, it was nice to be back, even if it was just for one day. Mr. Stokes, what can we do for you? Earlier, you two were only doing your jobs, but I assumed the worst, and I'm sorry. Well, how are you doing? Not really sure. But I do know this. I am going to be there for Emma this time. No matter what happens at her trial, she's not going to be alone. Well, I should leave the both of you to your work, Captain. Thank you for everything. You too, detective. Yeah, actually, I'm not a detective. But... You're not? Well, she should be. But your golfing buddy's budget cuts have gotten in the way. Really? Hey, you guys have not been returning my calls. Where's Beckett? Mr. Castle, why don't you come into my office? Do we have any idea where she is? Traffic cam footage caught a white van headed away from the Widmark right when she was abducted. We think she was in it, and we're trying to track it down. There are reasons for hope here. I'd love to hear them. First of all, they didn't make her as a cop. They think she's Elena Markov, which buys his time. She's pretending to be Elena when she doesn't know who Elena is? She can't keep that up forever. Well, hopefully she won't have to. Once Elena tells us everything that she knows about this, it could lead us to Beckett. Beckett? What the hell is going on here? Take him to Glitterati. Go, yeah. go. Just not right away. Captain Gates, I thought you were at a uh, terrorism It summit. was canceled due to a bomb threat. Which is ironic. Mr. Castle, what on earth possessed you to turn my precinct into the set of Kojak? Oh, or should I address you as Captain Castle? <laughs> okay, that was so not my idea. Oh, but the rest of this was? Captain Gates, does this mean all is forgiven? It means I like to dance, Mr. Castle. No, sir, you can't do this. You can't take me off this case. Nobody knows Wilkins Simmons like I do. And no one has a history with him like you do. His lawyers will spin it as a personal vendetta. Now, Mr. Simmons is being brought in for questioning, and it's best that you're not here when he shows up. Sir, I need to be a part of this case. I know, but you can't be. Take the rest of the day off, detective. That's an order. all over the news. You heard anything from them? Calls, texts? Not since this afternoon. And we can't make a move till we know where they are. Gentlemen, is there something going on here that I should know about? What do you mean? Beckett's not a killer. I know that. But she's gonna go down for this. It's open and shut unless I can protect her. And I can't do that if I'm left in the dark. So if she's being set up, I need to know why. Sir, how much do you know about Beckett's mother's murder? It's a random stabbing, never solved. There's a lot more to it than that. Tell me everything. I was so nervous before my wedding that I ran into a wall and got a black eye. You're supposed to be a wreck. You're about to experience one of the most important days of your life. I'm so happy for you, Detective. Hey, guys! In spite of who you marry. So, who's ready to get her marriage license? Me. Almost. I gotta get my back. Excellent. Mr. Handle Castle, just what in the hell do you think you're doing? Did you give that TV station the precinct number? I'm not gonna give my home phone. That's private. The NYPD is not your personal secretary. 
Do you know how many man hours this little stunt of yours is costing us? The phones have been ringing off the hook. Did you hear that? Ringing off the hook? We have leads. What just happened? Without the sheriff's cooperation, there's only so much we can do. So we're just gonna let him get away with this? Kinda like how we let you get away with not inviting us to the wedding? Well, at least you were invited to the champagne toast. Sorry, sir. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sure it was Mr. Castle's fault. Now, regarding the case, I'll call the feds and see if they can intercede on our behalf. Sir, that could take weeks. By then, any evidence or witnesses could be long. Then it could be our cover story. We're a, a newlywed couple with a hankering for the wild frontier, right? And look, Beckett, I know you want to see justice brought to this young woman's killer. And this, this is the only way. I hate to say this, but your husband may be right. This could be our best shot at solving the case. Fine. Is it they said they only invited immediate family? What? We're not family? More like poor relations. And we're probably the reason that they fell in love in the first place. Right? You know, I've been listening to your belly aching for the last few days, and I have to ask, what the hell's wrong with you two? Come on, sir. It doesn't bother you. You really want to know what I think, detectives? I think that the two of you should stop whining like two little schoolgirls who weren't invited to the dance and be happy that your friends, your very dear friends, have found a way to make it work. Especially after all the hell those two have been through. Well, that's what I think. Well, when you put it that way. Yeah, I mean, I guess in some opinions we have been kind of jerks about it. Yeah, you have. But if you're interested, there might be something you could do to make it up to them. Is there a problem, Kevin? As he was being transferred to Central Booking, Detective McBride was shot and killed by unknown assailants. The DA learned that you were cooperating with members of organized crime in your investigation. People who might have wanted McBride dead. Uh, this doesn't look good, especially for you. I am so sorry, Mr. Castle, but the DA spoke to the mayor and... You are no longer permitted to work with the NYPD. A private investigator? I swear, sir, I had nothing to do with this. Yet, he showed up at your crime scene. Let me remind you that DA was very explicit. Ever since he worked that case for the mob, Mr. Castle can no longer take part in our investigations. He's not. I mean, technically, he's conducting his own investigation, and since he's licensed legally, there's not much that I can do to stop him. Okay, detective. But let me be perfectly clear. You cannot help him either. And that goes for you, too. I'm sorry? No sharing of information, no granting access, nothing, or there will be hell to pay. Understood? Yes, yes sir. Good. I'll take care of the rest of the booking's details later. Anything on the van? No, not yet. When I first got here, I couldn't figure out what Beckett saw in you. But you know what she said? He sees the story. I see the evidence where it leads, but he sees the story. That man got inside your head and you let him. You want to help her? You got to get inside his. What's his story? What's his next move going to be? Now you figure that out, and we'll find her. That was the stupidest, most reckless, irresponsible stunt you've ever pulled, Mr. Castle. Thank you. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> okay. Still a matter of the assault charges. Assault charges? Uh, it's a it's a long story, but good captain. <laughs> you can't be serious. Serial killer or no, you threaten an unarmed man with a gun. The DA takes that very seriously. But in light of your outstanding work on this case, he's willing to drop the charges if you agree to a thousand hours of community services. A thousand hours? Yes. As a consultant.
assistant to Detective Beckett in the 12th precinct. I'm, 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 I'm being unbanned? Mr. Castle, welcome back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Detective Beckett, a word. Close the door. They just got a call from 1PP. They want me to take you off shift tonight for a performance review. Um, sir, my review is not scheduled for another three months. D do you think that this has something to do with the captain's exam? No, they don't ask for me to discuss exam results. They notify you by mail. Uh, so, uh, what, what's going on? I don't know. And none of my sources are talking, but they want you there at 7.30. It's a pretty big step, Kate. Have you decided what you're going to do? Not yet, but whatever it is, I'm looking forward to the adventure. One thing's for sure, things are gonna change. Well, I know one thing that'll never change. What we all have. A toast. To us. <laughs>